Here we go, back on the patio, ready to rock and roll. We got some stuff to go through. Um, and as you can see, we have a ice cold Dos Equis waiting on us. That can only mean one thing, something epic has happened. How epic? Pretty damn epic. All right, but before we get to that, we gotta get to some other things. And that is some raw stuff that we've been picking up. And let's see here. I'm going to start. I'm going to start with these. I've talked about these many, many, many times on the channel, but you guys are so nice to me that you just keep leaving them out there. And so I keep picking them up for 20 bucks. Um, I actually just picked up a few more that haven't come in yet, but I'm seeing these now jump up to 60 to $75. And this is a refractor of Juan Soto, 2017. I'm actually seeing some BGS 9.5 surface. They're asking $300. This is a base 27, but it's his first rookie card, and it is a refractor. So, guys, you need to pick these up before it's too late. I'm, I'm telling you, this is a key card for Soto, um, and it's just it just looks really, really overlooked. So, yeah, four more of those into the personal collection. Picked up some of these Bowman 90, 1991 design. I think this is the 20, this is either the 2020 or the 2021 uh, Bowman Chrome. But I love the old throwback from 91. So I picked up a couple of these and I found this Aqua one out of 125. And it was centered really nicely. And so I picked that up for, gosh, I think 30 bucks. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good price, right, right at $30 for an aqua out of $125. That'll look really good in a slab. So, yep, a couple more. And then I added a card that is crazy. Um, I don't own it in a slab. I've always wanted to, but it just never has came up for the right price. And so this raw one came up, and so I jumped all over it. It's the uh, purple refractor. You know, I've harped on these many times. This is out of 250, and I got this for, I think, oh man, it was like 100 bucks, $125. And the, the graded nines are, you know, $900,000. The nine fives are like 1,500, so. I couldn't miss an opportunity to jump on this. I can grade this myself, even at $150. And I spent $125. I mean, I'm what, you know, a little less than $300 into the card, and I'll have it for way cheaper than what uh, some people are listing them for. So that's the purple. Grab that. Excited to have that. I guess to sit right there for a minute. All right, we're going to look at a slab. And you guys have heard me talk about BGS slabs. I'm not the biggest fan of BGS slabs, but sometimes you find the card that you really want and it's in a BGS slab. Well, I'm buying the card. I'm not buying the grading company. Uh, a lot of people say buy the card, not the grade. I buy the card, not the grading company, because if the card is a short print card, um, there's only so many of them. I don't care who graded it. I can always crack it out, but uh, I just laugh at people uh, sometimes when they just stick their nose up at a grading company because it's in that in that slab when you can crack it out and put it in any slab you want. So this is a, a BGS 9, and not only do I don't prefer BGS, I can't stand the look of a BGS 9. It just doesn't look good. I don't like it, but... This card is like silver metallic. I don't know if you can see it. See it there? And it goes great with that silver label. So it just kind of popped. And it's a 2019 Museum Collection Superstar Showpiece Auto out of 25. And so there's not a lot of these. It's a very low print, second year auto of, of Soto. 
And I've really loved, fell in love with this card. Um, I know this lighting isn't doing it much justice, but um, let's see if I can adjust it. Yeah, it's just not, the light out here you know, is not great with the reflection, the sunlight, but um, yeah, I love that card. It uh, really, really looks good in that silver slab, so. That's my one exception. All right, this next one. Oh wait, let me. Uh, well, I can do that in a minute. Here's here's another one. Next slab. This is not an expensive slab, but it could be. I don't know. It's probably gonna. It, it will. It will definitely uh, either either make some people cheer or it will make some people uh, boo. Uh, depends on how you voted. Um, this is the Juan Soto off-season 2019 when they went to the White House after winning the World Series. And there's uh, former President Donald Trump. So um, these, I think the print run on these was extremely low. I, I know it was. It, there's not a lot of them. But I think this card... Um, it's going to jump one day. I don't know when, but, um, and I don't think a lot of collectors know this card exists. I did not. Um, if you're a fan of the former president then you and a fan of Juan Soto, then you probably will love this card. If you're not a fan of the former president and you're a fan of Soto, then, then you know, you might like half the card. Um, I purchased the card. So I'll leave it at that of my feelings on the card. And I'll say that I love this card. I mean, I really, really love this card. Yeah, I'm going to sleep with this card tonight. Most probably. But anyways, moving on. That's the Juan Soto White House card with President Donald Trump in the background. All right. So let's make a little room here. And now, the main event. We gotta crack this open. Well, y'all know you heard it. Ah, delicious. So good on my lips. This is a. Uh, this is what they call a casket card. These cards. Um, don't pop up on eBay very often, or social media, for that matter. Um, this is probably, some would say, the, the best Juan Soto card to own. I know that's debatable, but um, it's a, a super short print card. And <clears throat> anybody got any guesses for our reveal? This is a card I thought I would never own. Are you ready? One more drink. Boom, shaka laka laka. Oh yes, it happened folks, it happened. Check it out. Oh yes, it is the Juan Soto Gatorade bath and a BGS 9.5. I was able to work a deal on Instagram for this card. Um, and the guy actually came off the price four or $500 of what he was asking. And let me just say that what I paid for this, which I've had this now for two months. I'm just now showing it because um, I wanted some alone time, you know. I didn't want to share it yet, but... Um, yeah, this was an Instagram deal. These have gone up several more thousand dollars, and I don't know if they'll ever drop back down to where they were. He's going to have to go into a major slump for a long time, and I don't see that happening. But, yeah, guys, that is the big pickup Possibly of 2021. We'll have to do a 2021 recap. 
There's a couple of cards that will give this one a run for its money. But this could be the big one. And I can't wait to pair it up with my, uh, you know, I've got my five by seven Gatorade baths and I've got the Stadium Club Gatorade bath. So I have to get those all together for one, one big photo shoot. Um, but uh, leave me a comment, guys. What do you think? What do you think of the video? What do you think of my pickups? Um, go pick these up. Stop waiting. Go pick these up right now. Do it. Do it now. Do not wait. I don't know. I haven't looked at the pop on the ones that are actually graded, but I mean, if you pick these up for $30, $40 and grade it, and people are selling them R80 for $300, then just do the math. It's a pretty big return on investment. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. Big E with the big pickup and the delicious Dos Equis. Stay thirsty, my friends. We'll see you on the next one.